Good readings and welcome Toron Warriors to another episode of Let's Play Fallen Haven. Alright. Let's run these bastards back home. is in range enough. Difficult. So I'm just gonna have to dig in. So close to not be the enemy not being able to attack Aberdeen directly anymore. Now, granted, I don't know where their next orbital strike will be, but there will be one. But let's pay attention to chaos because chaos has a unique quirk. Depending on never mind, uh, regardless of which faction you play. Is that partially there is not really any good place to land. In fact, there may just not be enough space for three drop dropships as it is. So you're gonna have to clear some space beforehand, which means essentially just non stop nukes. Um, which is partially why I also want uh, to have Garland under my control so I can do both nukes at the same time. Otherwise, this will take a lot long time. Another quirk is that we know all the buildings available to us. Now, since this is the home province of the humans, they will have the uh, dropship factory as well. That's a 2 by 3 building. They will have undoubtedly a graft tank facility. But there's another building with the same dimensions, which I apparently do not have. Now, the enemy does never never does any double buildings beyond the um, uh, resource buildings. So what the heck is that other building? I have no idea. Perhaps we'll find out if I ever manage to strike. Um, but again, first we're going for Garland, so... And in order to get to Garland, we first need to reinforce this place. So let's get to reinforcing. Now I want as many resources out of this place as I can possibly squeeze out of them. To maximize my profits and all that. So let's get all my units into a position where they will not be in the way. I mean, there is a, a great temptation to just hurry things up, but you kind of have to resist that because the enemy will be annoying. You can guarantee, guarantee that. Now, strictly speaking, I only need to take Chaos to win the game. So, if you're single-minded enough, you could just forego anything else and just focus on getting that. And I'm kind of tempted to not bother with any backlands. If 
they managed to steal anything, but that does run me the risk of losing out because I suddenly run out of resources. Now this province is very good for resources, so I'm gonna squeeze as much out of it as I can. And then fortify as best I can. There is a good chance the enemy will strike at me. And while I may be able to take this province back easily enough, eh, why risk it? So let's just build up as best we can. everywhere because there is a good chance the enemy will strike and I'd rather not be caught with my pants down now if they strike next turn uh, these turtles are gonna be useless but I'm gonna build them anyway just in case the enemy thinks twice about attacking That should be enough. Uh, I should really leave a road open. Whoops. Flyers are pretty much useless, but the rest can move to the front. And I don't have enough credits left to buy a missile. Alright, well. I think I have enough to replace everything. Uh, one mega tank won't hurt. Right. Let's get rid of that and focus on weapon damage because it's the only thing left that still needs to upgrade and anything else I can't really do. Research is poor. Well, well, might as well. Let's go. We want to proceed reinforcements. Yep. And great power is on the attack. I 
that's a lot of units. It's an awful lot of units. They can't get in. Right, I'll send you over there as well. And you move to the front. They dropped more units. Oh well. going around the back, but that's the wrong way. Let's split you two up, because otherwise you might get hurt. I mean, there is a chance I may have to abandon, but... I want to make them pay as much as possible. So let's see if I can draw out some enemy fire first. They're giving up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's see. How much can I pull back on this? there. So you and then equalize. 
Alright, let's get everything repaired again. Because that was way closer than I had actually intended. But you know, the defense is held, so I'm counting this as a win. And any strike the enemy cannot perform is always a win for me. So let's just get all my defenses in place. The, uh, even if the thing didn't, and didn't end up doing all that much. Still did something. The, um, the terrorists didn't do all that much, but they distracted the enemy long enough. Alright, let's strike at the obvious uh, points of interest. Let's fill up what we can here. Because these are all empty, so we need to fill them up again. That is a pity. Well, they may have a point there. Alright, come on. Just on top of the units. I think that's all the obvious places where they can possibly land. Um, Alright, well, let's just improvise then. I still prefer to use the alpha tanks for defense, but in a pinch they can help in the offense. Actually, let's just leave you here and I'll take some regular tanks. Right, do I feel like I can assault this place? Probably not. I mean, I'd almost prefer to just breach this, uh, the back area here, but uh, most likely I'm gonna be s completely strangled by whatever the enemy has in the, in the rear. Let's just save up some points first, get my tech, and attack next turn. Aberdeen is under attack.
mean, I kind of sort of admire their severe desperation to get me out of here. I mean, even with their best attempts, they, can, they must know they cannot get me out this way. Well, clearly Aberdeen needs more defense, but we'll be doing that next time. Thank you all for watching.